Good morning, AHS. Welcome to this week's episode of Eye of the Needle. I'm Katie Salute. And I'm Kelsey Sedlick. Now here's school news. Thanks, Katie. Student Council sold candy cane grams all this week. The grams will be delivered to students next week. Twerp tickets will be sold next week before school. Next week, boys will be playing volleyball Monday and Wednesday for twerp. Next week is twerp week. Monday is stoplight day. Wear red right if you have a date or you do not want to go. Yellow if it's complicated. Wear green if you don't have a date. Tuesday is tacky tourist day. Wednesday is dress like your date day. Thursday is group costume. And Friday is 80s, 90s movie day. Saturday, dress casual for the dance. The dance starts at 8.30 till 11. Next Tuesday will be loose change day. The change will be picked up at the end of second period. Remember, AHS, the more change there is for your teacher to count, the less class time you will have. The next eye of the needle will be delayed until Wednesday, December 19th. Make sure to tune in because it will be this year's Christmas special. Now here's Katie with Fine Arts. Thanks, Kelsey. The Magical Dinner is being held this Saturday at 7 p.m. and Sunday at 5 p.m. The Magical Dinner includes singing, acting, and features special performances from band members. In band, Sweeba auditions are being held this Saturday, and the winter concert is on Monday. Eight speech and debate students traveled to the Johnston Dragon Invitational last weekend. Genevieve Martinez and Sarah Shorley got first and third in program oral interpretation. Karina Burkle got second in dramatic interpretation. Shorley and Troy Roach placed second in duo interpretation, and Shorley and Roach also placed fourth and fifth in congressional debate. This weekend, students will travel to West Des Moines for the Dowling Catholic Paradigm. Now here's an ad brought to you by Kinsey, Chloe, and Anna. I'm uh, wanting to talk to you today about health care careers and long-term care. Right now I am part of Atlantic Specialty Care. We are one of 44 skilled nursing facilities in Iowa. We have um, assisted living, skilled care, and home care. Um, basically what we do is we provide care for seniors and care for people that have disabilities in their own home. So what I'd like people to know about us is the fact that we have positions available. For example, we can help you with your tuition, we can help pay for you to go to school. So if you're in high school and you're looking for a job, we could hire you right now. Um, we could put you to work as a CNA, that's a Certified Nursing Assistant. When we do that position, what we will do is we will actually put you through the training and schooling. It's a 70 hour class that we put you through. Once we get done with the 70 hour class, we'll get you on the floor and we can work with you. So if your school hours get out like at 3.30 or whatever, we could actually schedule you a shift from 4 until 10 or 4.30 until 10 at night. So it's kind of a good part time job plus training. Once you've worked with us for six months, um, then what you can do is you can apply for our educational program and we can actually pay 100% books, tuition, and fees for you to go on and get your nursing degree. That's whether you want your LPN, whether you want your RN, or whether you want to go for your BSN. So we're going to put you to school for that. Um, some people want to go to school for to become a licensed nursing home administrator like myself or physical occupational therapy because we offer physical occupational speech therapy. We also offer um, dietitian positions, cook positions, dietary service manager positions, and we can um, provide training and opportunities and education for that too. So if you're interested in a part-time job, if you're interested in healthcare, stop on out, give me a call, and I'll do some training with you. Um, my number is 712-243-3952. Give me a call, Atlantic Specialty Care. Truly, a place to call home. Thanks, girls. Now here's sports with Allie. Thanks, Katie. There's a meet in Humboldt last Friday. We had four champs for the tournament, including Chase McLaren, Connor Pellet, Kenny Jimerson, and Kill Roller. Read more about the Humboldt meet on ahsneedle.com with the article by Caroline Pellet and Mia Trotter. The boys had another meet on Tuesday in Creston with the boys taking first. The Council Bluffs Classic starts today at 1. It will continue tomorrow also for the remaining wrestlers. Trojan student athlete Zade Nicholson signed to Dort College to continue his academic and sports career. Now let's take a short break for the Trojan Minute with Lucas.
AHS Fuel took it over. It used to be paid for and sponsored by the school and it was losing money. Um, so AHS Fuel took it over, um, started to find cheaper DJs, charge a dollar more per ticket uh, to offset the cost so we can afford to have it. Uh, Twerp will have a dance December 15th, uh, so next Saturday. Uh, it be normal time, 8.30 to 11. We have a DJ here in town that will be doing it for us, dance to the music. Uh, it's 80s, 90s themed. We thought it would be fun to get some throwback music. Twerp stands for the woman is required to pay. So this is one where the girl's supposed to ask the guy. Uh, they're supposed to pay for things and just do, a, I guess, a flip of what normally happens at a dance. So the twerp posals, uh, however the girl decides to ask the guy if it's something clever, they make a poster, they do a video, they need to just tweet it at AHS Fuel and we will take a, a screenshot if it's a video or if it's a picture, we will just make a, a big list and we'll send it out to the teachers and they vote. Whoever has the, the most votes gets a Rancho gift card for $20. Mm -hmm. We do play volleyball. Yeah, we have the Teachers for Students Volleyball. Uh, teachers won last year, so you know students better step it up this year or get smacked again. We play freshmen versus like seniors and sophomores versus juniors or something like that, or seniors, sophomores, juniors, freshmen, and then whoever wins plays against the teachers. Thanks, Lucas. There was a boys' basketball game on Friday at home against St. Albert. The Trojans won with a close score of 53-50. to They had another game on Tuesday at Red Oak, winning 61-34. to They have another game tonight in Creston. The girls' basketball team had a game on Friday at St. Albert. The Trojans lost with a score of 37-50. to They had another game on Tuesday at home against Red Oak, with freshmen and JV winning and varsity losing with a close game of 50-54. to there is another game tonight also in Creston. Now here's a challenge video brought to you by Grace and Pluma. Who performed at the Super Bowl halftime show? <laughs> uh, oh, Justin Timberlake. Oh, oh good so job! Nice. <laughs> Which country hosted the 2018 Winter Olympics? South Korea. <laughs> Name a teacher that joined the staff in 2018. Randall Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> Who buried Prince Harry in September? Meghan Markle. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. What remake of an animated film came out this past summer? Ooh. <laughs> you know what? We went and saw it. <laughs> the Incredibles. <laughs> Name a song and dance challenge that was popular in 2018. Extra points if you do it. I'm not doing it. Are you about the one? <laughs> yeah. No. No, one that's like that. <laughs> no way. Okay, let it go. Juju. No. Oh. In my feelings? Oh. Okay. <laughs> no idea. Did anybody want to answer? Anybody want to Name a song that the marching band played this year. <gasps> I should know this. Oh. It was you first. Cameron got it. The greatest show. Yes. Time. Yep. Yeah. What teams went to state? Girls and boys cross country and nice. girls swim team. Nice. That was more? 22 is a long season. Uh, yeah, and girls softball. Two more. Oh. Tennis. <laughs> Tennis. Boys tennis. Yep. Oh god, who's gonna get the point? And <laughs> a boys track. Boys track, yeah. yeah. No, it wasn't. I didn't say that. Who's the famous rapper who died in 2018? XXX. Did I say Which senior permed his mole at last? Kenny Jefferson. What caused the electrical out... Raccoon. Yep. He got part of the Thank you for watching this week's episode of Eye of the Needle. I'm Katie Saluk. And I'm Kelsey Sedlick. Kelsa, do you know what time it is? No, what time is it? It's time to study for semester tests. Stay, Stay smart, smart, HS! HS.